Well, good morning. If you're just waking up, it is now seven minutes before the hour. Time for the six things you need to know before you go. Two suspects are in custody this morning after an armed robbery at the Domino's in North Augusta. Officials say they then left the scene, leading officers on a chase into Augusta. That chase ended when the suspects crashed their car on Wrightsboro Road at Whitney Street. One suspect was taken into custody. A second suspect was arrested a short time later off Maryland Avenue. Well, a child in Richmond County is still recovering this morning after being hit by a car last night on Kaufman Drive. Deputies say the child was hanging onto the bumper of the car when the car began to drive away. She was run over by the rear tire. According to investigators, the driver was drunk. That child suffered non-life-threatening injuries. The driver is under arrest. A brand new memorial to honor veterans will be unveiled in Columbia County this morning. The new tribute honors all who have served in the line of duty. The event starts at 1030 on Evanstown Center Boulevard. It takes place behind the Evans Library. And the Columbia County Board of Education will host a public hearing tonight. They want your input on flexibility options. Board members will discuss the district's plan to enter into a strategic waivers contract with the State Department of Education. That meeting is set for this afternoon at 5.30 at the Board of Education office on Hereford Farm Road. Good morning again, everybody. The South Carolina Ohio Patrol is on the scene of a no-injury accident in Aiken County. That's on Interstate 20 all the way out at mile marker 25 on the eastbound side. So if you're on your way to Columbia right now, be sure you slow down a little bit, prepare to move over as you approach mile marker 25. Everywhere else, we are all clear. Traffic is accident-free. And moving along without delay, heading out to the gates of Port Gordon through Beach Island and SRS, towards the south side industrial sites, and into downtown Augusta. For News Channel 6, I'm Bill Boffin in the WGAC 24 hour news traffic and weather center. Here's your golf forecast 76, mostly cloudy this morning. We'll see some thunderstorms on the course later today.